How many girls did you sleep with? I can't. Um, over a hundred. What? But you can't let me go. I have so much to offer you, Jason. Bruh. I just want you to be able to see that. And it's so hard for me to portray that. Bruh. Bruh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Jason, I, I'm picking my You know what this means. I'm picking my ass. <laughs> oh, no. The movie really is amazing. My girls were completely engrossed by it when we were watching it because it, it really does make you feel like you're inside this 11 year old girl. The world's 85 richest people is equal to the three and a half billion poorest people. And this is a great thing because it inspires everybody, gets the motivation to look up to the 1% and say, oh, I want to become one of those people. I'm going to fight hard to get up to the top. This is fantastic news. I mean, of course I have fun. What can be wrong with this? Really? Yes, really. So somebody living on I celebrate a capitalism. dollar a day in Africa is, is getting up in the morning and saying, I'm going to be Bill Gates. That's the motivation Only everybody thing between needs. Between me and I'm that not guy against is charity. motivation. I just need to pull up my socks. I am oh, not wait, a, don't, I don't have socks. Look, you it. work hard. You might be stinking rich. We're talking one day. about people in extreme abject poverty. That's how you get three and a half no, billion. No, we're not. Okay. This is going to be your final offer. There's not going to be any more offers. Listen to me. There's only two cases left in play. One case is worth $750,000, and one case is only worth $5. Last offer, $333,000. Take it, 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 take there's a 50-50 chance that that case is holding five dollars. Deal Take it. or no deal? Take it. You can counter. Shut up, bitch. I'm gonna counter. You're gonna counter. This is my counter. No deal. You got this, baby. It's okay. You're going home with five dollars. Michael's I mean, got a twinkle in his eye. Um, he's a young man, and um, I'd have to see more, but he seemed very open. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't like him on the fact that he's black. I'm a minority, but I got a problem. Oh, with I was going to say, oh, you're like a minority yourself. Absolutely. Like, I'm to assume, based on what you just said, that you don't like me because I'm black? I'm talking in I a can... general sense here. What? I don't like them. You personally. I never have. So gonna and I never will. What is it about black people that you don't like? Wait. That the world owes them something. I'm totally opposed to affirmative action. Where are you from? I don't want people to give me a job just because I'm... Clown. That's clown shit. Hello. Oh, Hi. Hi, Hi, Ashley. Had you been to L.A. before? No. You've never been to L.A.? I said no. I thought you were just here doing... Okay, I'm gonna talk to you. Okay. Oh. I mean, what is you did this? Attitude. I'm, I'm gonna talk to you. He's he the host. You're the, head, you're the head. Excuse me? Are you married? No. Okay. We follow each other. Yes. We know some of the same people. Uh-huh. That's it. This is my personality. This is how I am. Are you going to be able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? That's my goal, man. I I'm Katja Side's wife. Is there something you have done that could cause Katya not to trust you? Yes. Do you think 
you've delayed having children because you're not sure if Katya will be your lifelong partner. The answer is yes. What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? True. As a personal trainer, have you touched a female client more than was required of you? No. That answer is... false. Why do you think it came up false? Well, you know, it's one of those things that really you know, when you're training people, yeah, you're, 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 you gotta physically touch them. Right, but what's required, you know? You know, take the way to the top of question 13 got him, so we say goodbye to Ty. She took the bow off the, your cake and ate it. What? Just a and saw it! And saw it too! <laughs> like, she just no. broke it off and ate it? <laughs> she goes and defiles my cake? What is wrong with this girl? I'm sorry, but that girl, Sarah, broke the bow off my cake and ate it. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Who does that? She is so rude. Where is she? Her Did you eat the bow? I did eat the bow. You ate it. the bow? I ate the bow. Why? Why would you eat the bow? Because I wanted to. It's really? my party. It's my cake. You picked off a piece of the bow and ate it? See, I think the thing is she's changing her name to my name. It's and a that's sort of cake. a cake. It's sort of not cool. Why would you do that? Bit. About she didn't know it was gonna hurt her feelings so much. I didn't even see it seriously? happen. I don't know. You, You're listen. seriously that mad because Sarah? I ate a piece of meat. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. The truth is, it is that disrespectful is and rude. I would not come to your wedding and break off me? something. No. And I'm telling you, I am not gonna have my party ruined over this. The right over thing to do. a piece of I cake. Know. I know. Really? I'm sorry. I know. I know. Is this the world we live in? Over a piece of a tiny cake. to be courageous. Come on, Mexican, I thought you were all Mexican and strong. Ow! I grew up with a Mexican family. I don't care that you're a Mexican. I've slept with plenty of Mexicans, by the way. I can defend myself because I'm from Mexico. Oh my God. Please, bitch. Please. Do you think she's a racist? Ask me, uh, uh what Asian I am because of my eyes, they squinty. Oh. So, um... How many girls did you sleep with? I can't. Um, over a hundred. What? Last October. <laughs> I can't. Are you serious? We were in a relationship at that time. Women have been forced to tolerate the manipulative douchebaggery of F-Boys for far too long. Welcome to F-Boy Island.